What's up everyone, welcome to the Triple Trouble. My name is Gijs, my name is Chef, and welcome to the fourth day of the Technique Week. So in today's episode, we are gonna talk about the anchoring. So in yesterday's video, we explained about the draw, and after the draw comes the anchor. So uh, I'm just gonna explain my process, and I hope that you can learn something from it. So you'll draw back your bow, and then you'll need a place to find a solid anchor point. And for me, that's right below my jaw. Uh, I put my hand there, and that's the moment I engage my back muscles and not only my arm anymore. So basically, I lift my bow and draw it back, and then go from arm to shoulder here. So you can see that my elbow is sort of raised. That's where I engage the muscles in my back and in my shoulder. So that's where I change from arm to shoulder. Another thing a good anchor can do for you is to have a solid and a consistent anchor point. So uh, I put the string against my nose and against my chin and then I make sure that my hand fits against my jaw and neck as well. For me, I also put my pinky behind this muscle uh, because that's a very comfortable spot for me and it's something that I can do consistently. So I'm going to give you an example. So I draw back. Go to my shoulder. A very common mistake for people um, when they try to anchor is that they don't move their string to their head, but move their head to the string, or just move their head in general. So you leave your head in place, uh, and you learned about the T line in the first video. Basically, you try to keep the whole line straight, uh, and that doesn't change an anchor. So when you anchor, your head stays in place. When you're anchoring, you want to turn your head to the target, but you don't want to do it too much or too little. Uh, it's something that you have to feel comfortable with. Um, I don't turn my head as much as other archers, but that's because it makes me uh, comfortable in my shot and it gives me a good consistent shot. So don't go all the way like this because then there's no way you can anchor properly and don't go like this because then you cannot see where you're going. So try to find a good spot for you to have a solid point to anchor and uh, to have a relaxed neck and shoulder position. So that was it for the fourth day of the technique week. What did we learn today? Well, it's important to find a good anchor point and not to move too much while anchoring. So. We hope you'll be back tomorrow. We're going to talk about the extension of the shot. See you. Ciao.